What's up folks, it is G Money here, back with another video. Today is all about bowlers. It's early January and about 5 o'clock and 5.30 in the morning. Um, you know what they say, early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. I believe that to be true. It's not the only reason I'm getting up early, but one of them. Um, today I'm going to relocate some boulders, get some boulders pulled out, get the boulders pulled out, be ready to be hauled, um, and get them up and piled, stacked higher before they freeze into the ground because it is winter, there is some frost, but it's not terrible. So let's jump in the truck and go find our excavator, which got dropped off in the middle of nowhere yesterday afternoon. See you there. Remote start on a vehicle is seriously the best thing since sliced bread. So I got this iPad holder here. I've been using it all this year. Um, it's been really helpful if I want to like see emails or uh, work on certain things, quotes. Of course, not while I'm driving, but when I'm stopped, so it's nice and it's right here. It doesn't block my view anywhere. It's just cheap. 15 bucks off Amazon, it's working out good. Start. It's cold out. It's 26 degrees. She usually start. She usually starts pretty good in the cold. Just takes half hour, 40 minutes to warm up. As you can see, we've got a lot of traffic going back and forth on this road. So we have to get some traffic control here, some cones, whatnot. That's that main corridor to uh, like lots of wildlife, like deer, bears, wolves, coyotes. Not much human traffic out here. So. Anytime we start off this old girl here, um, we check all the fluids. Anytime I start, I was always taught when I was younger, anytime you start any, especially older machine, check all the fluids. So I'll show you what that looks like quick. I actually, I just greased it up right before it got, came, got hauled up here. So I know it's all greased up, that's all good. Check the batteries. It's got four massively huge batteries. They're all good, no one stole them. Um, we check the swing motor oil here. Perfect. This thing, for all it is, actually holds to it really good. It, it leaks a little bit of hydraulic fluid, but doesn't burn any oil, coolant, nothing. So actually, it's um, for how old it is, it actually is pretty tight. Pretty sealed up, pretty tight. Under the hood here, we got this massive six-cylinder engine. Check the motor oil here. Oil's perfect. As you can see, we're good. Now this oil right here, you can see, pretty clean, the level is perfect. This was changed about 300 hours ago and the oil is still pretty clean and the level is good, it hasn't went down a drop. Um, so the motor is really clean actually. Coolant, just take a peek in the top of the radiator here, perfect, right where it was the last time I checked it. All right, that's good. And then, so we got, quick recap, we got swing motor, we got uh, motor oil, coolant, we got hydraulic oil, um, fuel is good of course. Little sight glass here, fuel's fill, full. Then we got a little sight glass inside of here. I don't know if you can see it in there, but there's a little sight glass in there. I can see it, and I can see it's good, so. All right, let's see if she'll start. Let's see, let's see how cold she is and how much she wants to start. goes she's a little chilly but she went this is a big motor it takes about a good half hour to warm up so crank the heat let it warm up and we'll move some rock so at this point you're probably asking like hey gee what are you doing out here in the middle of nowhere with an excavator in an, on a gravel road no buildings and nothing around well I'll tell you what I'm doing I'm sipping a um, Arnold Palmer 56 cent iced tea that's what I'm doing more enjoyable out here than in the city Pretty much everything's more enjoyable out in the country than the city, now that I think of it. Yeah, and these teas, I picked this up for 56 cents at your local Walmart. 
how do they even make money? Like, there's a can, a bunch of tea. How do you make money at 56 cents? If you work at Arizona Tea, uh, let me know in the comments below how you make money at Sunny's for 56 cents a piece. I mean, you might make 12 bucks if you sold 10 million of them, but I don't know, it doesn't make any sense. I know if I was making this, I wouldn't sell it for 50, 56 cents. I'd probably sell it for 8.50 a can. People would still buy it because it's so good. So what we're doing out here is sourcing our own boulders. As you know, we do a ton of boulder walls. So we are sourcing all our own material this year. So it's a good winter project. We got mountains of rock back over in here. Many that way and a bunch over on this side. So basically we're getting it all out, getting it sorted, getting it stacked and ready to be hauled out. So that's what we're doing. This thing machine would be sitting otherwise in the winter. So we figured we might as well put it to use and stock up on boulders over the winter for the summer as we have a lot of work lined up and we use an insane amount of boulders. So that's why we got the semi, but we're getting an end dump and uh, yeah. little everything. There is about 10 inches of frost or so. Fortunately, the Cavalco's got the weight and the mass to rip it, um, to break it up. Even just with the bucket. Got two more piles down there that we already did. Got several more down that way. See, so we got some nice big girls here. You see too how we're, how we're pretty close to the swamp right here. This is all wet. I did sink in one spot over here and also the excavator broke in like three feet so I quick backed out. but. It is nice that we do have that frost that can get out, so I can get out over that swamp a little bit and not get stuck. So here's what we got. I was just talking to the farmer and he asked if I could go up on top of the hill and dig him out like a little wallow. He needs some clay to uh, use some pack for some roads, farm roads. So yes, I could dig some of that out and just pile it um, for him in the spring. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buzz up on top of this hilltop and dig that out for him quick to help him out. All right, let's go uh, sing some dirt. See those piles that I go up over the hill there? Um, the farmer wanted some uh, dirt to build up a couple of approaches in the spring. So I dug out a hole and made like a nice belly to it um, for the cows like win and cows like to run around the fresh dirt and stuff. So got that done. There was, a, there was like 10 inches of the frost. It was really hard to get through. I had to get a big boulder and drop it on it a bunch to get to break through. Um, so now I got several of these piles done. You can see I got everything, all the big stuff pulled out back there. But this pile here, there's a fair amount, fair amount of big, uh, nice big ones here. There's probably 40, 40 decent ones, 50 decent ones right here. So basically just get along this side and just pull everything out where then we can come right along this row right here and uh, and load them up. So, and then also too, we want to stack the rock so that when rock on rock don't freeze, laying flat on the ground, then it freezes in. So we want to stack them up rock to rock and that way they don't freeze in. It don't matter, we can come anytime and it's get them. It's actually getting warm. The snow's actually getting pretty slippery. Like I can just turn this excavator like you would a regular wheeled skid loader because it's so slippery, you just, whoosh, just turn and um, it just slides, so it's, it's nice and it isn't because you grab and you get a big rock and it pulls you to it. But if you're turning stuff, it's nice. It's getting pretty warm out here for the middle of January, but today's Wednesday, lots of snow coming tomorrow on Thursday. Um, so we'll try to get everything done. Probably work late today and just get everything done here on this one particular site. So, all right, see you guys in a bit.
Hi Foggies, that concludes this video. Um, not super exciting, not as exciting as like the best snowplow video ever, the last video or anything, but I just thought maybe some of you guys would, if you're really bored and you really need something to watch, this would be better than nothing. Um, so, let me know what you think of this video in the comments below. It's kind of just take it along with me for the day. I could have had any of our guys do this, but I wanted to do it um, because I enjoy it. I like being out here in God's country. Sometimes it's nice to get away from the big city. I enjoy being here. If you're wondering what happened here, that was I got a big snowstorm on uh, Christmas Eve and Santa and his sleigh backed right into me. Snow and couldn't see very well, so I'm working on an insurance claim with him on that. But Bob had a brainer to pick up a T450 and a blower. Um, we need another sidewalk machine, so I'm gonna pick that up, bring it back. And uh, it's a calm before a storm right now. We got a lot of uh, snow coming. Like, it looks like it's gonna snow for like two days straight. That's gonna be a really long event. So, so for watching guys, if you like the video, like it. If you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe. If you didn't like it, dislike it. And if you don't wanna see more videos like this, then don't subscribe. All right, see you guys soon. Remember, in order to get results, no one else is getting. You must do things no one else is doing.